everyone! It's Marilyn the K-pop. <laughs> Hi everyone! It's Marilyn the K-pop grandma. Thing that I'm liking about this video. <laughs> but even if it's distant, there are people that that care about you. I care about you. It's Marilyn, the K-pop grandma. Welcome to the Gram Fam. We have a lot of fun here. At least I hope we're going to today. I'm thrilled. I'm so thrilled. Today I'm going to be reacting to another or doing another reaction to Stay Gold. But this time it is the official music video. If you like this video, make sure to hit the thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do that. Please do that. Um, I am getting back in the routine of being back on YouTube. I don't quite have a schedule planned out yet. So make sure and hit that bell. And that way you'll know whenever I'm going to drop a video. Also, please leave comments. Leave comments. Tell me what you think about the video. Tell you, tell you, tell me. Take two. <laughs> Tell me what you think about my comments. Uh, if there's something that you would like to see me do, whether it's BTS or something else, let me know that. Um, but I love comments, and I try my best to at least react to them, but I really try to reply to them. So so go ahead and do that. Okay, here we go. Before we... Um, before we get started, I read this really cool article this afternoon. It was on Koreaboo. Koreaboo comes up in my um, in my uh, Google feed all the time. It is a little news website that mostly talks about Korean pop culture, whether it's dramas or idols, music, things like that. I will leave the I will leave the link down below in the description but they had a really neat um i don't know if you can see this and try anyway they have this it said 20 things you might have missed in bts stay gold music video i thought oh that'll be nice to talk about so there's clues connections theories and more so i'm just going to mention a couple of them so the first thing is in the beginning of the video there's a hallway and it looks like the hallway that he ran through in fake love, you know, when the floor was all falling. So anyway, so we need to look for that. Um, there's a window after after JK reaches the end, he looks out a window that is reminiscent of the window of fake love. And one of the things in this article, there's they say that this video has a ton of references to fake love. Um, says here, John open Jen, John. In Fake Love, Jin opens and closes the curtain on Jungkook, who's looking the other way. Uh, Suga's Rebirth. This room could be a revival of Suga's set from Fake Love. In the music video, Suga sat on a wood chair, much like the one he's sitting in Stay Gold. The room in Fake Love goes into flames. Remember that? He's just sitting there, and then suddenly it goes... So, but this room shows scorch marks on the wall and empty water buckets, suggesting that someone put the fire out before the room could be consumed. And now a tree symbolic of new life and a fresh start is growing out of the ashes. That sounds really cool. So we'll look for that. Jin's mattress. You know, they have mattresses in lots of things. Um... RM's imprisonment is reminiscent to him uh, imprisonment in the elevator is uh, reminiscent of the phone booth. Uh, oh, the bus. There's a bus and we know No More Dream, their very first song, had a bus. <clears throat> v strikes a match, reminding everyone of the one that 
um, J.K. Struck in Spring Day. Let's see what else is there. Oh, this one I found really interesting. Possible references to the Outsiders book. Um, by the book The Outsiders by Essie Hinton. And I have never read this book, but I know all of my kids had to read it for school. And it's a story about Pony Boy and Johnny. So anyway, a lot there are a lot of references and if you have read that book or how to read it for school you'll probably get a lot of insight to this okay let's go ahead and get started i always like to start here or stop it oh shoot sorry about that you guys I was trying to stop it like right here. I love that music and artist for healing. They just that's that's Petey Bong's mission in life is is to help people feel better through music. And I love that on their opening. Sorry, anyway, I just had to say that. voice you guys that voice oh one thing that it pointed out in the in the uh in the article was that stay gold is um is a line from the book the outsiders and uh i could tell you where it is but there it's kind of a spoiler and um like all of us you know bts bases something on a book or <laughs> artwork or something all the all the armies have to get in there and read it so i won't tell you the whole the whole story but stay gold is a quote from from that book <laughs> oh there's the tree did you see it did you see the tree in the ashes back with sugar and there's there is Jin floating on the mattress raft <clears throat> see there's the tree the burnt wall I'm corrupt ice are like I love this. I probably let it play too long. They're going to nab me for copyright. Sorry, big hit. Anyway, <clears throat> I love this song, and I already told you that in the other one. And I am loving this video. It's, to me, it's kind, so far, it's kind of simpler than what we're used to seeing. And I don't think we're going to see any dancing in it. I don't know where since it's not really dance music but um, but again the visuals and the the photography and uh, I've been watching some videos of a editor named uh, Jordan Orm <clears throat> and I may have mentioned this in one of my other videos but one of the things that he has pointed out as he uh, was looking at uh, Dechita and also um, Blood, Sweat, and Tears was just how cinematic and beautiful uh, BTS's videos are. And of course, I agree. You guys, I feel like this is kind of a wrap up for all the all the other heartache videos that we've watched them go through. And you know, you see him, you see V like the match. Oh gosh, that that's a pretty gorgeous. Okay, everybody, screenshot, screenshot. <laughs> um, 
he strikes that match and it's like light. You know, light is always something that is positive and gives hope. It's gonna burn up his past. I love the water fight, you guys. They're having so dang much fun. Even, even Yoongi smiling. Oh my goodness. Oh. Whenever I see Yoongi now, I think about, about meeting his brother in Korea. We just kind of happened to meet him. Nothing planned, nothing expected. It, it was just a crazy fun situation anyway um <laughs> they have the same smile anyway that's all i want to say but yungi smiling so now we know that 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 cute man can smile look at that the pop Oh, it said in that article that Jin is reading. What's Jin reading? Let me see if I can find it. Oh, here we go. He's reading. Let's see if you guys can see this. He's reading A Midsummer Night's Dream in that scene. And it looks like it's actually this, this volume that he's, uh, that he's reading. I hope I put that in the right spot. I could like put it right here in front of my face and then go forward. Have to tilt it a little bit. Anyway, that's this is what um, Jin's reading. And if you have not read A Midsummer Night's Dream, it is Shakespeare, so it's written in that formal language. But it is such a funny, funny play um, where woodland fairies get involved in human beings romantic relationships <laughs> and cause people to fall in love with the wrong people anyway that's just kind of a, a fun little read oh i'm so glad me and jimin are together I love how he is sitting in this dreary kind of drippy basement. It looks like he's in the basement. It's dark. It's gross. There's water dripping. There's buckets there to catch it. And he's still saying, stay gold. Stay gold. Like, to me, this song is about remember who you are. Remember who you are. Remember that times can get tough. It's really helpful to realize that even when life is tough it's going to get better and i have a little philosophy about that and i'll talk to you about it if we have time at the end of the video I like this these words. I know I wasn't going to talk about it because I already done a review, but I mean, uh, to me, I really do more of reviews than reactions, you guys. <clears throat> so here we go. Making sure I go unnoticed. Do we do that sometimes? Oh, we're just kind of afraid to let people know who the real us is. I like how they're just, this is kind of, I almost feel like this song 
is part of ego. In other words, a lot of Mott 7 was really about shadow. There was a little bit about ego, but I feel like this one really is talking about being true to yourself. And Jung's ego is just that. Your ego is your, your, your pure self. It's not your persona. It's not the shadow, although shadow is part of you. You don't want your shadow to overtake you. Ego is that is the pure part. And and I feel like this song points to that. <clears throat> Another screenshot. I like how they're out of the dark and I wonder now if like the rest of the video is going to be them being out of the dark. You know, talk about being lonely and them being together and showing yourself to someone that's special, whether that be in a romantic relationship or a friendship, you know, letting your guard down. And that's what, that's what ego is. It's letting your guard down. I love, we used to have a golden retriever. I just love them. Oh, another thing that the article pointed out was, <clears throat> you know, the original Augusty, um, one of the, one of his uh, songs, he talks about having to work so hard to get to where he is and how he had wrecked on a scooter and and uh, hurt himself but he kept pressing forward and you know when he was a trainee he had a job as a delivery person and he wrecked on a, on a scooter and totally screwed up his shoulder well here he is on a scooter and so it's a message of overcoming everything if you look at everything they're doing it's like they overcame everything that was hard <clears throat> he's gonna come out of the basement coming out of the prison oh it's stuck in an elevator Going up the hill. That kind of reminds me of the hill that they were going up in on, right? Like they is they <clears throat> they escaped all the turmoil that they were in and the gates opened and they started going up the hill. And this is very reminiscent of that. <laughs> Oh, there's all the gold. Oh, that's so beautiful, you guys. Oh my gosh. That note, who's singing that? Is that our Jimin? Oh my goodness. Oh, that was so beautiful. Anyway, what I want to say on here before he totally took me to heaven with that voice. This is so beautiful. It's like they came out of all this, all this hard turmoil and now they're in this beautiful place. And it really is um, speaking to everything that they've worked so hard for. There is a, there is kind of a saying in in Korea about walking the flowery path and um, people will say you know I hope you walk the flowery path and basically that just means that you have good luck and things are beautiful and that's kind of what it reminded me of when it opened up and there was all these flowers was um, 
now they're on the flowery path. <laughs> Laughing sugar. I can't get over that. <laughs> Look at that. That's so beautiful. Oh my gosh. You guys, you know I love colors and I love how things fit together to tell to the tell the story. And look, he's We know that V's word is Boraje, which means I purple you, and purple being the bottom color of the rainbow, which encompasses every bit of love and affection um, for somebody. And that's his his word that he invented, and it's known all over the world now. Anyway, I, I just think it's interesting that there he is, and his hand is on purple, and there's purple. Oh, I use my finger like you guys can see it. There's purple, purple, purple. Oh, it's going gold. It's like gold. <gasps> the tree's turning gold. Oh, my gosh. Oh, you guys, that was so beautiful. It was just breathtaking.